Okay, guys, gather around. New duty roster's in. And we are... Hey, isn't that going to be kind of confusing? Lieutenant Parker and Ensign Parker in the same outfit? Don't you get it, Mr. Parker? This is for you. Today's the day the promotion list comes out. You're a sis to get your silver bar. Hey, you guys think I'm finally going to make it? You can't miss. Right now, you're the world's oldest living ensign. <laughs> uh, Parker-san, I finished the OK. How you like? Hey, congratulations, Lieutenant Parker. Boy, that's great. Uh, uh, oh, uh, it should say Lieutenant J.G. Uh, that's junior grade. Uh, here, I'll fix it. You sure you can handle it? Are you kidding? I'm the best weapons man in the outfit. Uh, oh, uh, <clears throat> be careful. Hey, what? What's going on here? Oh, well. <clears throat> Sorry, Skip. My finger froze on the trigger. Did you get the news, Skip? Yeah, Mr. Parker finally made lieutenant, didn't he? Get out the cake knife, Fuji. It's party time. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Chuck, I'm afraid you got the wrong letter on that cake. Uh, well, yeah, no. It should be Lieutenant J.G. I, I was just working on it. No, it should be Ensign. Ensign? Hey, did you guys hear that? I made Ensign. <laughs> I am an Ensign. <laughs> Chuck, I'm afraid Binghamton gave you the zinger again. No, oh, that no good. Oh, we got got right 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 right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right, agreed. He got a raw deal. But the main thing is, Chuck, don't let it get you down. Well, don't worry, Skip. I'll be the same guy I've always been. On my toes, efficient, alert. Real Navy. Oh! <laughs> Lieutenant really got him down. Say, Mr. Parker, I just heard a great joke. How do you get four elephants into a jeep? I give up. Two in the front and two in the back. <laughs> the first time I heard I fall down. Hey, Mr. Parker, don't you have an Uncle Joe? Uh -huh. I give up. No, 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 no. It says right here the new head of Naval Affairs Committee is a Senator Joseph Parker. No kidding. Hey, if your uncle's a senator, you're a cinch to get promoted. Why didn't you tell us? That's not my Uncle Joe. Are you sure? I'm positive. My Uncle Joe's a plumber back in Chagrin Falls. The only way he'd get in the Senate is if it sprung a leak. <laughs> hey, it's wait a minute. What's the bit, Grove? It's a punching dummy. It's the image of him. It's a little business item Fuji and I whipped up. Clobber the Captain Incorporated. <laughs> and a half a buck of sock, we'll make a fortune. Hey, Groove, that's beautiful. Hey, let me try it. Ah, oh, stand back. Mr. Parker gets first back. On the house. That's why we rushed it through, to perk him up. That's a great idea. Hey, let's get him over here. Hey, Mr. Parker, come here. Now what? Oh, look, you guys, how many times do I have to tell you that it's no use to... Oh, afternoon, sir. Bam! Fuji, you better get out of here. Please, oh, Mr. Parker. Yeah, look. Gruber, what are you doing? Uh, oh, look, sir, you gotta forget... Hey, gosh! Take a shot at him, Mr. Parker. It'll relieve your frustrations. Clobber, <laughs> go ahead, Mr. Parker. Uh, but, boy, I'd sure like to, Gruber. You sure you can't get court-martial for striking a superior dummy? <laughs> uh, go on, be my guest. Well, all right. Take that, sir. Hey! Boy. And that! And that! And that! Hey! And that! Hey, boy, this is great. I'm gonna get my boxing gloves. <laughs> Lester, you are a genius. Boy, it sure cheered him up. Hey, listen, let's call the skip over and let him have a whack at him, huh? Oi, vey! Little bing of those coming! Quick, guys, let's stash him. Get rid of him fast. Uh, uh, hey. uh, all right, Captain Binghamton. Now, what are you doing here, sir? Just a little surprise inspection, Mikhail. Oh. Make sure you haven't sold everything to the nips. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> hmm. 
Mikhail, how dare you ask me to promote that punch drunk dodo? Hi, Skip. Okay, stupid, this is for nothing. <laughs> Leave him alone, Skip. He'll bounce back. Hey, hey Slug. Come on. Chuck, what have you done? Oh, boy. Unless Gruber's punching bag can talk, I made a boo-boo. <laughs> Just point me out of my car. Hey. Oh, I'm awfully sorry, sir. I thought you were a dummy. A dummy? Huh? Well, no, 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 I'm a tail, sir. I'm a tail. I'm a tail. Oh, yeah, yeah. Calm down, sir. Calm down. He just shook up about his promotion. His promotion. Where are my glasses? Glasses. Go over here, sir. Oh, here, here. Get the glasses. Quiet. Where did everybody go? Where are the glasses now? Here they are, sir. Here they are. Those aren't glasses. No, no. They look a little broken, sir. Here they are. 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 They look a little broken, sir. I feel a little broken, too. But if I remember correctly, sir, you do have another pair, don't you? in my drawer, oh. in my desk, with my manual on criminal procedure. Now, you know, you speak out, Parker. I know you're here somewhere. Oh, there you are. All right, you're under arrest. I'm taking you in. Clobber the captain. Ought to clobber you. If only the real dummy hadn't shown up. Knock it off. <laughs> of all the... Oh, what's the use? I'm going to go over and try. Try to talk Binghamton into letting Chuck out of the break. Yeah, poor Mr. Parker. Maybe the skip will spring him. Are you kidding? With Binghamton as mad as he is, even the White House couldn't get him off the hook. Yeah. Wait a minute. Maybe not the White House, but what about the Senate? What are you driving at, Groob? Well, suppose nephew Charles gets a little letter from his Uncle Joe, Senator Joseph Parker of the Naval Affairs Committee. And Binghamton gets to read it. Mr. Parker would be out in a minute. Sure thing. Well, let's start writing. But the skipper just He'll said... He'll never know. Let's go. Come on, move, 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 move. <laughs> Geneva Convention say no. <laughs> yeah! Come on, Gruber, let's take that letter from the senator and show it to Captain Binghamton before it's too late. Absolutely not, Tinker. Captain Binghamton is never to find out that Mr. Parker's uncle is Senator Joseph Parker, head of the Naval Affairs Committee. Uh, Tink, Mr. Parker made us promise never to tell. He wants to make it on his own. Oh. You there. Why, uh, Lieutenant Carpenter. What is this that I just heard about Ensign Parker's uncle being a United States Senator? Mr. Parker's uncle? A Senator? Why, that's ridiculous, sir. He's just an ordinary plumber. Honest. Let me see that letter. Letter, sir? What letter? <laughs> that one... Move that... the letter! Get it quick! Get it quick! Stop that! Stop it! <sighs> to Ensign Charles Parker, from the Senate of the United States, the office of the Honorable Joseph Parker. Plumber, huh? Hmm. Some plumber. Wait till the captain sees this. Oh. I tried everything. Everything. But that Binghamton just would not call out the court martial. Oh, the question now is, how will you plead? Well, how about on my knees? Oh, God, will you? Now, look. Ah, uh, Captain Binghamton. Ah, uh, Quentin. Hello, Chucky. Oh, uh, sailor, unlock the cell. Unlock the cell? You mean you're letting Ensign Parker out? No, I'm letting Lieutenant Parker out. <laughs> Hello, Chucky. Brought to you new silver bars. Gee, I didn't know he got promoted before he got court-martialed. Who's getting court-martialed? Who, 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 who? Oh, but you, you said he was, sir. Oh, that's just hazing a new lieutenant. You know how I love a good joke, Lieutenant. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> now, let's get out of this terrible place. Well, I have to be running along now. I, oh, uh, by the way, Chucky, uh, here's a letter that uh, came from your Uncle Joe. Uh, Uncle Joe? <laughs> well, how did you, I mean, uh, he Oh, was, now, uh, don't worry, Chucky. I'll keep it a secret about your Uncle's job. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, you don't have to keep it a secret, sir. He even advertises in the Yellow Pages. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd make it, Mr. Parker. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations, Mr. Parker. You'll make a fine lieutenant. Something screwy going on here. Huh? Oh, no, Skip. They pin on it. 
Oh, no. I don't believe it. Huh? Well, no, look, right here's the pin. Come over here, you guys. You meatballs have done some dumb things in your day, but this takes all the marbles. Forging a letter from a senator. Oh, well, wait a minute, Skip. That's not from a senator. That's from my Uncle Joe. Didn't you hear Binghamton? That's what these apes wanted him to think. Chuck, the only reason Leadbottom promoted you is because he thinks that Senator Joseph Parker of the Naval Affairs Committee is your uncle. But, but I, but you, but he... Look, Skip, what's so terrible? It got Mr. Parker off the hook. It even got him his promotion. Sure, and Binghamton will never find out. Oh, yeah? Oh, Lieutenant! Chucky! I got some wonderful news. Uh, Chucky, it's wonderful news. And I just got this message from your uncle, Senator Parker. He's making a tour of all the bases in the South Pacific, and he's coming here to Teratupa today to refuel. What? Uh, Senator Parker's coming here? Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Is that amazing news, boy? Just think of it. You and I today, we're going to be down at that airstrip at 1,600 hours saying hello to your uncle. Now, Chucky, you go and get dressed, and while you're putting on your new bars, you think of some wonderful things to tell your uncle. <laughs> About me. <laughs> <laughs> When that senator gets here, we're goners. You know, why does everything have to happen to us? I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's all my fault. I should have never forged that stupid letter. Nah, it's all my fault for hitting the captain and breaking his glasses. I should have known he wasn't a dummy. Yeah, sure should have known he wasn't a dummy. Hey, hey, hey hold it. <laughs> hold it. <laughs> Chucky, you just chewed me on to something. <laughs> it's a long shot, but it could work. <laughs> yeah, it better be good, Skip, or Binghamton will see right through it. <laughs> yeah, well, if Chuck and I have any luck, Binghamton won't be able to see through anything. <laughs> Gather around, you guys. <laughs> what do you want, barging in here when I'm giving my speech to the... Oh, 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 oh Chucky, boy. <laughs> Reporting his orders, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Well, come in, boys. Come in. So I'm sorry that I snapped at you like that, but I'm I'm a little shook up about meeting your uncle. You know, I never met a senator before. Me neither. How <laughs> uh, what Lieutenant Parker meant, sir, was that uh, well, when he left the states, his uncle Joseph was still in the house. <laughs> yeah. Well, as a matter of fact, he was out in the backyard uh, fixing the cesspool. <laughs> This boy, that's, a, that's a riot, isn't it, sir? <laughs> uh, so why don't we get down to the airstrip, man? <laughs> uh, what's the rush? I mean, Carpenter's down here. He's taking care of everything. The honor guard, the band, the works, and my Jeep isn't here yet. Oh, uh, well, uh, sir, uh, I had an idea uh, that uh, with the airstrip so close to the water, uh, why don't we all go down on the 73? Yeah, Uncle Joe's wild about boat rides. Oh, he is. Oh, well, a dear man. If that's what he likes, that's what we'll do. <laughs> Fixing a cesspool. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get ready to go, boys. Huh? How do I look, uh, Chucky? Huh? Uh, oh, just fine, sir, uh, except for the hat. Uh, what's the matter with the hat? Uh, well, you see, Uncle Joe's a middle-of-the-road man, and he doesn't like anything that leans to the left or right. <laughs> uh, here, uh, let me fix it for you, sir. Oh, right my glasses. Where my glasses? Right over here, sir. Right over here, sir. Right over here, sir. Right over here, sir. Oh, no. Yeah. Watch the broken glass, sir. That's my last pair of glasses. Oh, oh, oh. Parker, you're a bird brain. You're a clutch. Oh, well, no, no, sir. It was just an accident, sir. But besides, we don't want to keep the senator waiting, sir. Oh, uh -huh. no, no, no. The senator waiting. That's right, McHale. What? I mean, what's a little pair of glasses to be doing a friendship like Chucky boys, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yes, yes, yes. I see you, boy. I see you. Well, let's, let's go. We, uh, we don't want to keep the senator waiting, do we? No. I mean, who needs glasses anyway? Uh, yeah. Come on, boys. Here we go. Everybody. Come right this way, Captain. Uh, I know you can see fine. Oh. Oh, easy does it. Get that man's name. Yes, thank you. What's your step, Daddy? Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> no, there's nothing, sir. He just came off the boat. <laughs> Everything's in fine shape, know, yes, sir. Here we are, sir, right at the airstrip. Uh, oh, you don't have to tell me, McHale. This airstrip's my pride and joy. Oh, boy, it sure is a beautiful sight, sir. I can remember when this place was nothing but jungle. Oh, yes, yes. I, darn, I wish I had my glasses. I love to look at the airstrip, you know. Yes, sir. Everything ready for the senator's arrival? Oh, yes, sir. Or as a matter of fact, uh, here comes the color guard now. <laughs> Company, hold! <laughs> face! Zen, arm! Now, I'm the guard ready for your inspection, sir. Uh, yeah, I know it, McHale. I'm not completely blind, you know. You're not, sir? No, no, of no, course not. Ah, uh, square that hat, sailor. <laughs> square hat. Oh, good, good. Yes, clean. The guns are all clean. <laughs> Quite a few of them out here. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, I tell you, these men are the, the cream of the Jerry Tupper fighting. Yes. Well, <laughs> got everybody out today. Oh, yes, it's a long way to sir. Why can't you have your men look like this? Well, I'll certainly give it a try, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, I hear a plane, sir. Yes, a plane. Yes, it's a senator's plane, all right, sir. He's coming in for a landing. Look at that, sir. Perfect landing. Uh, he's taxing toward us now. That's good, indeed. Watch that wingtip, sir. Stand back. Oh, my word. That was close. Yeah, we must be standing right on the runway. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, stand back, Chucky. I don't want you to get hurt before you have a chance to tell the senator about the promotion. Yeah. <laughs> the band hit it comes, sir. And they're marching better than ever. Amazing. Our little band never sounded better. Yes, sir, they sure do it. And they're marching far better than the other guards, sir. Oh, don't tell me. I... Carpenter put on quite a show here, didn't he? Yes, sir. Uh, by the way, where is Carpenter? Oh, oh, he's not here, sir. He's probably down at the airstrip. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hi, baby, uh, Mr. Parker means down at the other end of the airstrip, sir, with the refueling crew. Yeah. Oh, oh, here comes Senator Parker now, sir. Way, Senator Parker. Right this way, announcing the right honorable Senator Joseph Parker. It's indeed. Greetings, my fellow Americans. Well, special felicitations to you, nephew Charles. Uh, nice to see you again, Uncle Joe. Uh, how's Aunt Julia? It's indeed an honor. Oh, Senator. Julia's fine, boy. Fit as a bowl weevil at chitlin' time. Oh, I'm sorry she couldn't send you a miss of her home-cooked hush puppies. Oh, well, that's all right. Uh, we're not allowed to keep pets here anyway. <laughs> yes, we're allowed to keep pets. Uh, that's a good one, isn't it, Captain? Uh, oh, good one, yes. Yeah. a regular knee slapper. <laughs> right, Chucky boy? <laughs> Who in the name of Rhett Butler is this laughing hyena? Uh, excuse me, Senator, but uh, uh, this is Captain Binghamton, our base commander. <laughs> Captain Binghamton, eh? Well, my nephew wrote me about you. Said you were kind of a pushy sword. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. What he meant is that uh, I, I pushed him up from ensign to lieutenant, right? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh, the way you can twist a simple statement around, boy, you ought to be in politics. <laughs> uh, and now, Senator... Uh, pu it's Chucky Boy. Who? Chucky Boy. Oh. Are you sure that man hasn't had too many mint juleps? Ah, uh, sir, sir, your, your plane is waiting. It was a pilot signaling. Here we go. Well, that's just, just a cut and pick a minute there, Commander. Why, well, I'd be a possum out of water if I didn't hear that fine band of yours play at least one call, Sir Dixie. But your plane, sir, is waiting. There it is, McHale. If Senator wants to hear Dixie, then he's going to hear Dixie. Is the band still here? Uh, yes, sir, most of God. them. Play Dixie! <laughs> Stand up straight, boy. Take off your hat. That ain't no hold down there playing. <laughs> well, I can't understand it, Senator. Captain Binghamton should have been here a half an hour ago. Lieutenant, this is an outrage. I have never seen such gross incompetence in all my live-long days. 
The plane is refueled and ready for takeoff, Senator. Well, now, that's the best news I had all day. We'll take off immediately. Oh, oh, but, Senator, aren't you going to wait for Captain Binghamton? We do need the base commander's clearance for takeoff, sir. Oh, that's right. He's absolutely right, sir. All departing flights must be cleared by the CO. That's a Navy regulation, sir. And we are Navy, sir. Navy. <laughs> Unhand me, sir. But, Unhand me. Oh, I'm sorry. You can tell the captain I'm going to do all my waiting at Calm Fleet while Admiral Nimitz is typing up his court-martial papers. Forget the clearance and let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yay! I haven't been so happy since I was knee-high to a filibuster. Knee-high to a filibuster? <laughs> you, you got off another good one, Senator. <laughs> good one, Senator. Now, come on, Senator. With Sir, yes. it's Chucky Boy. Oh, Chucky, yes. All right, do the boy aircraft at one o'clock. I didn't give any plane permission to fly over here. It must be a nip. I heard the Senator was here. Oh, a nip? Hey, hit the deck, air raid. Wait a minute, Chuck. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, I'll take easy it does it, sir. Easy. Take it easy, sir, Captain. I beg your pardon, sir, but uh, you're crushing my seal sucker suit. <laughs> an American plane. Yeah, I know, boy. You see the way he can... I, uh, uh, I think I'm going to be sick. Boy, are we in trouble now? Hey, Skip, what are we going to do? Leavenworth, here we come. Never oh, mind that. that. Willie, radio air rescue tumbler, pick up those guys if they go into the drink. On the double. Would you stop all the... Wait a minute. What's this? There's something... Oh, wait a minute. What is... Oh, that's better. At least now I can see this. This isn't an airstrip. This is McHale's Island. <laughs> Wait a minute. Grover! <laughs> what are you doing in that ridiculous outfit? Grover, I'm talking to you. McHale! Uh, you go. <laughs> All right, what are you trying to pull on me now? Why, 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 why? No, 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 easy does it, easy does it, sir. Right, calm down. Remember your answers, sir. Hey, Skip, here comes a parachute. <laughs> Holy jumping jack. That's Senator Parker. You shot down a senator? Oh, I'll bet this whole thing is a hoax. I'll bet the senator isn't even your uncle. Well, well not by marriage. Uh, believe me, <laughs> sir, well, we can explain. We'll explain it to the executioner, because I want to have your court martial. And you're going to be first, Senator Gruber. You can't strike me, sir. Congressional immunity. <laughs> oh. I don't just stand here, you pirates. Go help the senator. Hey, yes, let's go, let's go. Here, let me help you, Senator. Captain Binghamton at your service, sir. Binghamton? Yeah. Then you are the murdering fool who's responsible for shooting down my plane. Oh, no, 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 no. These are the murdering fools, Senator. And this is the trigger man. Oh, and then that's Senator, Senator. It's all been a terrible mistake, sir. Mistake? Sir, it was a mistake to put you men in the uniform of our glorious country. Why, I could have you shot for this outrage. Oh, Senator, you don't know the half of it. A radioed air rescue, Skip. They'll be sending a boat out fast as you can say Stonewall Jackson. Captain, I'm not leaving this base until I see each and every one of these men court martial do you hear? And I can promise you that when I get back to... Did you say Stonewall Jackson? Yes, sir. Well, now, uh, pardon me, son, but... You all sound like you come from my neck of the woods. <laughs> yes, sir, Senator. I'm from your home state. You are? Well, uh, are you a voting age boy? <laughs> I will be by next election time. <laughs> and not only that, Senator, the whole family's a voting age. And that includes nine brothers and sisters. <laughs> yeah, well, he's got so many pictures in his wallet, he's got to carry it around like a knapsack. <laughs> uh, shut up. Just shut up. Both of you, shut up. Uh, Senator, you were talking about court martials. Now, now, you must be twisting my words, Binghamton. I was talking about giving these men a citation. Citation? But they shot your plane down. Naturally. It took off without proper clearance and should have been shot down. <laughs> well, now, come on, son. We got a lot of visiting to do. Of course, you heard about my new superhighway program, haven't you? I tell you, it's going to be one of the five. And now, Captain, about those citations. <laughs> Somebody up there hates me. You're not feeling so good down here, either. Way to go. Hello, Mr. Parker. I'll teach your lead bottom to break you to Anson. Yeah, you old windbag. And that's 
for mom. That's for Uncle Elton. Condition Red, Binghamton's coming. Let's get out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, you men, now the senator's not here, I... Captain Binghamton, I had no idea. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sakes, I'm gonna kill those men. Get out of the way. <laughs> Oh, no. My new glasses. Where are my new glasses? Mikhail, help me find my new glasses. That's an order. Mikhail. <laughs> Ducky. Oh, uh, sailor, unlock the cell. Unlock the cell? You mean you're letting Ensign Parker out? No, I'm letting Lieutenant Parker out. <laughs> Hello, Chucky. Brought you your new silver bars. Gee, I didn't know he got promoted before he got court-martialed. Who's getting court-martialed? Who, 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 who? Well, but you, you said he was, sir. Oh, that's just hazing a new lieutenant. You know how I love a good joke, lieutenant. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. <laughs> now, let's get out of this terrible place. Well, I have to be running along now. I, oh, uh, by the way, Chucky, uh, here's a letter that uh, came from your Uncle Joe. Uh, Uncle Joe? <laughs> well, how did you, I mean, uh, he Oh, was... now, don't worry, Chucky. I'll keep it a secret about your Uncle's job. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, you don't have to keep it a secret, sir. He even advertises in the Yellow Pages. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd make it, Mr. Parker. Congratulations, <laughs> sir. Congratulations, Mr. Parker. You'll make a fine lieutenant. Something screwy going on here, huh? Oh, no, Skip. They pin on it. Oh, no. I don't believe it. Huh? Well, no, look. Right here's the pin. <laughs> Come over here, you guys. You meatballs have done some dumb things in your day. But this takes all the marbles. Forging a letter from a senator. Oh, well, wait a minute, Skip. That's not from Senator. That's from my Uncle Joe. Didn't you hear Binghamton? That's what these apes wanted him to think. Chuck, the only reason Leadbottom promoted you is because he thinks that Senator Joseph Parker of the Naval Affairs Committee is your uncle. But, but I... But you... But he... Look, Skip, what's so terrible? It got Mr. Parker off the hook. It even got him his promotion. Sure, and Binghamton will never find out. Oh, yeah? Oh, Lieutenant! Chucky! I'll get some wonderful news! Uh, Chucky! It's wonderful news. I just got this message from your uncle, Senator Parker. He's making a tour of all the bases in the South Pacific, and he's coming here to Terra Tupa today to refuel. What? Senator Parker's coming here? Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Is that amazing news, boy? Just think of it. You and I today, we're going to be down at an airstrip at 1,600 hours saying hello to your uncle. Now, Chucky, you go and get dressed, and while you're putting on your new bars, you'll think of some wonderful things to tell your uncle. <laughs> About me. <laughs> <laughs> when that senator gets here, we're goners. You know, why does everything have to happen to us? I don't so fast? Know. Why does yeah, I don't know. That's all my fault. I should have never forged that stupid letter. Nah, that's all my fault for hitting the captain and breaking his glasses. I should have known he wasn't a dummy. Yeah, well, sure, should have known he wasn't a dummy. Hey, 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 hold. Who head of Naval Affairs Committee is a Senator Joseph Parker. No kidding. Hey, if your uncle's a senator, you're a cinch to get promoted. Why didn't you tell us? That's not my Uncle Joe. Are you sure? I'm positive. My Uncle Joe's a plumber back in Chagrin Falls. The only way he'd get in the Senate is if it sprung a leak. <laughs> It's, wait a minute. What's the bit group? It's a punching dummy. It's the image of him. It's a little business item Fuji and I whipped up. 
Clobber to Captain Incorporated. <laughs> a half a buck a sock will make a fortune. Hey, Groove, that's beautiful. Hey, let me try it. Ah, oh, stand back. Mr. Parker gets first crack. On the house. That's why we rushed it through, to perk him up. That's a great idea. Hey, let's get him over here. Hey, Mr. Parker, come here. Now what? Oh, look, you guys. How many times do I have to tell you that it's no use to... Oh, afternoon, sir. Bam! <laughs> Told you, you better get out of here. At ease, Mr. Parker. Yeah, look. Grover, what are you doing? Oh, look, sir, you gotta forget. Hey, gosh. Take a shot at him, Mr. Parker. It'll relieve your frustrations. Grover, <laughs> go ahead, Mr. Parker. But, boy, I'd sure like to, Grover. You sure you can't get court martial for striking a superior dummy? Uh, go on, be my guest. Well, all right. Take that, sir. Hey, boy. And that. And that. And that. Hey, and that. Hey, boy, this is great. I'm going to get my boxing gloves. <laughs> Lester, you are a genius. Boy, it sure cheered him up. Hey, listen, let's call the skip over and let him have a whack let at him. him. Huh? Oi, vey! Little bingo of those coming! Quick, guys, let's stash him. Get rid of him fast. Uh, 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 all right, Captain Binghamton, now, what are you doing here, sir? Just a little surprise inspection, Mikhail. Make sure you haven't sold everything to the nips. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Mikhail, how dare you ask me to promote that punch drunk dodo? Hi, Skip. Okay, stupid, this is for nothing. Don't skip, he'll bounce back. <laughs> he had me. Hey, slut, come on. Chuck, what have you done? Oh, boy, unless Gruber's punching bag can talk, I made a boo-boo. <laughs> Just point me out of my car. Hey. Oh, well, I'm awfully sorry, sir. I thought you were a dummy. A dummy? <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm a tail, sir. I'm a tail. Oh, I'm a tail. Yeah, okay, yeah. Calm down, sir. Calm down. He's just shook up about his promotion. His promotion. Sir. Where are my glasses? Uh, glasses. Oh, glasses. Here, oh, here, here. Get the glasses. Where? Where did everybody go? Where are the glasses now? Where are they? Here they are, sir. Here they are. Those aren't glasses. No, no. Uh, I'd be a possum out of water if I didn't hear that fine band of yours. Play at least one call, said Dixie. But your play, sir, is quick. Yeah, it is, Mikhail. If Senator wants to hear Dixie, then he's going to hear Dixie. Is the band still here? Uh, yes, sir, most of them. God. Play Dixie! <laughs> Stand up straight, boy. Take off your hat. That ain't no hoe down there playing. Oh, sorry, sir. Well? I can't understand it, Senator. Captain Binghamton should have been here half an hour ago. Lieutenant, this is an outrage. I have never seen such gross incompetence in all my live-long days. <laughs> the plane is refueled and ready for takeoff, Senator. Well, now, that's the best news I had all day. We'll take off immediately. Oh, oh, but, Senator, aren't you going to wait for Captain Binghamton? We do need the base commander's clearance for takeoff, sir. Oh, that's right. He's absolutely right, sir. All departing flights must be cleared by the CO. That's a Navy regulation, sir. And we are Navy, sir. Navy. <laughs> Unhand me, sir. But Unhand me. Oh, I'm sorry. You can tell the captain I'm going to do all my waiting at Calm Fleet while Admiral Nimitz is typing up his court-martial papers. Forget the clearance and let's go. <laughs> yeah. 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 I haven't been so happy since I was knee-high to a filibuster. Knee-high to a filibuster? <laughs> you, you got off another good one, Senator. <laughs> good one, Senator. Now, come on, Senator. With... <clears throat> Sir, yes. it's Chucky Boy. Oh, Chucky, yes. Yeah. Unidentified aircraft at one o'clock! I didn't give any plane permission to fly over here. It must be a nip. I heard the Senator was here. Oh, a nip? Hey, hit the deck, air ring! Wait a minute, Chuck! Wait a minute! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, I'll take easy it does it, it, sir. Easy. Take it easy, Captain. I beg your pardon, sir, but uh, your crush on my seal suit. Don't anybody panic. Well, uh... <laughs> Try to shoot a U.S. senator, will you? Chuck, Chuck, cease fire. <laughs> Chuck, you just downed an American plane. Yeah, I know. Boy, you see the way he can... I, uh, I, I think I'm going to be sick. Boy, are we in trouble now? Hey, Skip, what are we going to do? Leavenworth, here we come. Never mind that. Willie, radio air rescue tumbler, pick up those guys if they go into the drink. On the double. 
Would you stop all the... Wait a minute. What's this? There's something... Oh, wait a minute. It's... Oh, what is... Oh, that's better. At least now I can see this. This isn't an airstrip. This is McHale's Island. <laughs> wait a minute. Grover! What are you doing in that ridiculous outfit? Grover, I'm talking to you. McHale! Uh, you know, I... Help me, help me. Oh, Captain Williamson, that's your service. Williamson? Yeah. Then you are the murdering fool who's responsible for shooting down my plane. Oh, no, 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 no. These are the murdering fools, Senator, and this is the trigger man. Oh, and then that's Senator, Senator. It's all been a terrible mistake, sir. Mistake? Sir, it was a mistake to put you men in the uniform of our glorious country. Why I could have you shot for this outrage? Oh, Senator, you don't know the half of it. A radio to air rescue, Skip. They'll be sending a boat out fast as you can say Stonewall Jackson. Captain, I'm not leaving this place until I see each and every one of these men court-martialed here, yeah? And I can promise you that when I get back to... Did you say Stonewall Jackson? Yes, sir. Well, now, uh, pardon me, son, but you all sound like you come from my neck of the woods. <laughs> yes, sir, Senator. I'm from your home state. You are? Well, uh, are you a voting age boy? I will be by next election time. <laughs> and not only that, Senator, the whole family's a voting age, and that includes nine brothers and sisters. <laughs> yeah, well, he's got so many pictures in his wallet, he's got to carry it around like a knapsack. Uh, shut up, just shut up, both of you, shut up. Uh, Senator, you were talking about court martials. Now, now, you must be twisting my words, Binghamton. I was talking about giving these men a citation. Citation? But they shot your plane down. Naturally. It took off without proper clearance and should have been shot down. <laughs> well, now, come on, son. We got a lot of visiting to do. Of course, you heard about my new superhighway program, haven't you? I tell you, it's going to be one of the finest. And people. now, Captain, about those citations. <laughs> Somebody up there hates me. You're not feeling so good down here, either. Way to go. Mr. Parker, I'll teach your lead bottom to break you to Anson. Yeah, you old windbag, and that's for Mom. That's for Uncle Elton. Condition red, Binghamton's coming. Let's get out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, you men, now the senator's not here, I... Captain Binghamton, I had no idea. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sakes, I'm gonna kill those men. Get out of the way. <laughs> Oh, no. My new glasses. Where are my new glasses? Mikhail, help me find my new glasses. That's an order. Mikhail. <laughs> The bit group. It's a punching dummy. It's the image of him. It's a little business item Fuji and I whipped up. Clobber the Captain Incorporated. <laughs> yeah, a half a buck a sock will make a fortune. Hey, Groove, that's beautiful. Hey, let me try it. Ah, oh, stand back. Mr. Parker gets first crack. On the house. That's why we rushed it through. To perk him up. That's a great idea. Hey, let's get him over here. Hey, Mr. Parker. Come here. Now what? Oh, look, you guys, how many times do I have to tell you that it's no use to... Oh, afternoon, sir. Bam! Fuji, you better get out of here. Please, Mr. Parker. Yeah, look. Grover, what are you doing? Oh, look, sir, you got to forget... Hey, gosh! Take a shot at him, Mr. Parker. It'll relieve your frustrations. Grover, <laughs> go ahead, Mr. Parker. But, boy, I'd sure like to, Grover. You sure you can't get court martial for striking a superior dummy? <laughs> uh, go on, be my guest. Well, all right. Take that, sir. Hey, boy. And that. And that. And that. Hey, and that. Hey, boy, this is great. I'm going to get my boxing gloves. <laughs> Lester, you are a genius. Boy, it sure cheered him up. Hey, listen, let's call the skip over and let him have a whack let at him. him huh? Oi, vey. We are being up those coming. Quick, guys, let's stash him. Get rid of him fast. Uh, uh, hey, 
All right, Captain Binghamton. Now, what are you doing here, sir? Just a little surprise inspection, Mikhail. Oh. Make sure you haven't sold everything to the nips. <laughs> <laughs> Mikhail, how dare you ask me to promote that punch drunk dodo? Hi, Skip. Okay, stupid, this is for nothing. <laughs> Leave him alone, Skip. He'll bounce back. <laughs> he hit me. Hey, slut. Hey, uh, Chuck, what have you done? Oh, boy. Unless Goober's punching bag can talk, I made a boo-boo. Uh, just point me out of my car. Hey. Oh, I'm awfully sorry, sir. I thought you were a dummy. A dummy? Huh? Well, no, 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 I'm a tail, sir. I'm a tail. I'm a tail. Oh, yeah, yeah. Calm down, sir. Calm down. He's just shook up about his promotion. His promotion. Where are my glasses? Glasses. Oh, glasses. Here, oh, here, here. Get the glasses. Where? Where did everybody go? Where are the glasses now? Where are they? Here they are, sir. Here they are. Where? Those aren't glasses. No, no. They, they look a little broken, uh -huh. sir. I feel a little broken, yes. too. Okay. But if I remember correctly, sir, you do have another pen, don't uh, you? Yes, in my drawer, oh. in my desk, with my manual on criminal procedure. Now, you know, you speak out, Parker. I know you're here somewhere. Oh, there you are. I'm trying to rest. I'm taking you in. What are you doing here, sir? Just a little surprise inspection, Mikhail. Oh. Make sure you haven't sold everything to the nips. <laughs> <laughs> Mikhail, how dare you ask me to promote that punch drunk dodo? Hi, Skip. Okay, stupid, this is for nothing. <laughs> Leave him alone, Skip. He'll bounce back. He hit me. Hey, slut. Hey, uh, Chuck, what have you done? Oh, boy. Unless Goober's punching bag can talk, I made a boo-boo. Uh, just point me out of my car. Hey. Oh, I'm awfully sorry, sir. I thought you were a dummy. A dummy? Uh, well, no, 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 no. I'm a tail, sir. I'm a tail. I'm a tail. Oh, yeah, yeah. Calm down, sir. Calm down. He's just shook up about his promotion. His promotion. Where are my glasses? Glasses. Oh, glasses. Here, oh, here, here. Get the glasses. Where? Where did everybody go? Where are the glasses now? Where are they? Here, here, here they are, sir. Here they are. Where? Those aren't glasses. No, no. They, they look a little broken, uh -huh. sir. I feel a little broken, yes. too. Okay. But if I remember correctly, sir, you do have another pen, don't uh -huh. you? Yes, in my drawer, oh. in my desk, with my manual on criminal procedure. Now, you know, you speak out, Parker. I know you're here oh, somewhere. Oh, there you are. All right, you're rest. I'm taking you in. <laughs> clobber the captain. I ought to clobber you. If only the real dummy hadn't shown Knock it. Knock it off! <laughs> of all the... Oh, what's the use? I'm going to go over and try. Try to talk Binghamton into letting Chuck out of the break. Yeah, poor Mr. Parker. Maybe the skip will spring him. Are you kidding? With Binghamton as mad as he is, even the White House couldn't get him off the hook. Yeah. Wait a minute. Maybe not the White House. But what about the Senate? What are you driving at, Groob? Well, suppose nephew Charles gets a little letter from his Uncle Joe, Senator Joseph Parker of the Naval Affairs Committee. And Binghamton gets to read it. Mr. Parker would be out in a minute. Sure thing. Well, let's start writing. But the skipper just He'll said... He'll never know. Let's go. Come on, move, 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 move. <laughs> Geneva Convention say no. <laughs> Gruber, let's take that letter from the senator and show it to Captain Binghamton before it's too late. Absolutely not, Tinker. Captain Binghamton is never to find out that Mr. Parker's uncle is Senator Joseph Parker, head of the Naval Affairs Committee. Uh, Tinker, Mr. Parker made us promise never to tell. He wants to make...